Welcome to Beloved Blackness. We're at week 22. So the last few weeks we've been talking about this notion of culture and particularly taking Dr. Wade Noble's schematic of culture having different layers. And so he talks about the upper layer being manifestations, the middle layer being aspects, and then the bottom layer being factors. And so we've talked about the factors, we've talked about the aspects, and so now we're gonna talk about just a couple of the manifestations over the next couple of weeks. And so one manifestation that he talks about are values, or value orientation. And so an African-centered values orientation is one of collectivism, okay, or collective survival will probably be a better way of um, saying it. That it's not about individual or self-survival um, within an African-centered um, way of thinking about a values orientation, but a collective survival. So we can think about why Harriet Tubman would risk her life for the sake of her other brothers and sisters in order to be able to help free them from enslavement. We can think of so many examples in our history, but we can also think of modern day um, um, situations. A few weeks ago, I talked about Colin Kaepernick. I think he's a great example um, now in terms of collective survival. But also I think about Brian Stevenson with the Equal Justice Initiative and um, his um, determination to preserve and have our nation reflect on the impact of lynchings as a way of us uh, psychologically dealing with the pains of the past in order to be able to, as a people, survive the trauma from the past, we have to actually have to face it. And um, we can think about, I'm sure in our personal lives, ways in which we've seen collective survival. I was thinking about time where I would, during the um, Christmas holiday, my dad would have us go with him and deliver um, different um, baked goods and foods to different elderly um, persons in our community and um, just go and sit and talk with them. Um, and so this notion of whatever is happening to one, if that means that there's a need there, whether it's a financial need or a food need or just emotional support need, it's happening to all of us and we can't survive individually if we aren't thinking about and tending to the concerns of the collective. So over the next week, think about ways in your own family history where you've seen collective survival, this values orientation, African-centered values orientation man be manifested, and think about ways to be intentional over the next week of actually demonstrating collective survival. All right, I'm thinking about the MBT um, quote, I am because we are, we are, therefore I am. And some people refer to that as Ubuntu. And um, that really connects us to this notion of collective survival. All right, until next week.